we have received request from our viewers to create episodes on various linting tools. In this episode, we will be installing the Tickle Linter in Ubuntu Linux. This linting tool can be used to check syntax of various VLSI EDA file formats such as SDC, UPF, XDC and many more. Post installation, we will test this tool on the Tickle codes as shown in our Tickle in VLSI series or corresponding marathon to show the error and no error situations. Similarly, post installation, you may try out the tool on your own Tickle codes. Also, you may download any or many Tickle codes from our Tickle series from the given URL in the description of this video. So, stay tuned, stay focused. Hey guys, welcome back. In today's episode, we will be installing the Tickle Linter. Linting is a process where we check different syntaxes and uh, errors of any programming language. For Tickle, we have a uh, Tickle Linter and today we will install this Tickle Linter and show you the usage. So here you can see, this is the URL. Don't worry, this URL you will get in the description of this video. TC Lint is a lint tool for Tickle. It analyzes Tickle source files and reports stylistic and functional errors that may inhibit readability or correctness. So you can understand that uh, to lint any Tickle file, you can use this. What it contains, the features are checks for common Tickle errors. Companion formatting utility, you can use this. But however, today we'll be focusing on the linter that is TCLINT, that is Tickle Lint. It is pronounced as TC Lint. We'll also check for multiple examples today. You can see that uh, this can be used with the open road tool that is available also as a free and open source software. And if you go down, right. So here you can see the installation instruction. In our channel, we have already installed the Python. So there we have installed the PIP or the Python repository. This is PIPX and this is PIP. Today we will install in our Ubuntu operating system using this particular command line. Here it says that you can use this in this fashion. Don't worry, we will try it on multiple tickle ports that we have shown in our tickle series or tickle marathon. So once you run it, if it has error, it will show this kind of error. Such messages will come containing the errors like this or like this. So we will demonstrate this, but for your knowledge, first you get educated about this. And now comes the most important part. This tickle linter, you can extend its usage for multiple VLSI file extension like tickle, SDC, XDC or UPF. You know, all these things are written in tickle. However, there will be some APIs which will be for the particular tool and they are written by the tool vendor. However, there will be general tickle command inside these files also. So this way, this will be very much useful for the VLSI EDI use. So we also have some plugins here. You can go to the plugins page in case you want to further investigate things. And also we have the violation documentation page to get familiar with various kind of violations. So here you can click here. You can see the hand symbol is coming. By clicking this, you can go to the violation and you get familiar with multiple violation. And you can see this is a uh, free and open source and it is coming under the MIT license. So this is a free and open source tool. You don't have to pay any single penny for this. So you can go ahead install and use it. So let me come back here. I have opened a terminal here. You can see, right? Let me keep it a bit uh, this length. First, let me check whether our system has PIB. I'm typing which? PIP. It says it has PIP. So we will go on installing the Tickle Inter. And you can see that we are already connected to the internet to a broadband. So you must be connected to the internet. That is the prerequisite. Otherwise, you cannot install this because this will be an online install using the command line utility. That means you are using this through the CLI. Right now, the CLI is we are going to demonstrate. So here you can see that uh, PIP install TCL lint. So let me copy it 
and let me go here paste it. However, since we are in the Linux, we have to give the sudo command. Once I execute, it will ask the sudo password. Let me give it. In your case, you have to give the sudo password or the root password. And once I hit the enter, it will start installing. So you can see it is installing the respective packages for the tickle linter. The installation is done and here you can see a message warning running PIP as the root can result in broken permission conflicting behavior with the system man page. So this usually comes because in some of the Linux system you may not having the root privilege. So in that case it might give some broken things. So here you can see as we have given the installation instruction the tickle linter packages are installed okay and you can see this was a very short and sweet installation. Now we will check the installation by using the which command, which is C lint. I think we have to close the shell and then open it again to see the installation. Let me close this shell or terminal. Let me open the terminal again. In case you are having the trouble, you can log out from your system and then come back login. So I type which PC lint. So you can see the tickle linter has been installed here in this path. This is showing. Now let me go into the folder where I have kept all the examples from our tickle series. So if I do a ls, you can see multiple uh, tickle files are here. Obviously, I will provide a link in the video description from there you can download all of this tickle file and you can try this linter on this code now let me do a linting on one dot tickle so i type pc length and then give the one dot tickle so you can see a lot of error is coming here we have to open the file side by side and go to the line number and column number and then you have to see this errors what is there and you can make the changes let me do operate on another c 10 dot tickle pc lint on 10 dot tickle here it do not show any error so that means this file is fine me operate it on this file log ex dot tickle this is also fine so let me operate on this So here you can see the errors are coming again. So these are indentation errors, right? So here there were mixed kind of errors you can see. And here one typical type of error is there. And here mixed type of error. And there were files which do not have errors at all. So you can run this tickle linter on your tickle code. And you can find out what is the error in the tickle file error warning or some indentation issues or brackets or braces anything right so you can go ahead and check all those errors and issues with this linter this will be very useful for the vlsi engineers who are using the tickle script for their EDA tool for having some automation they can use this particular linter to check the code since this has a support for if i go back and show you right this particular linter has support for the tickle as well as SDC, XDC, UPF, all these files. So as a VLSI engineer, this particular linter will be very useful. Don't worry, this particular URL is provided in the video description. Also, I have provided all the tickle files links to download which are demonstrated in the tickle in VLSI. From there, you can pick all the tickle files or the tickle file of your choice and then you can modify them and insert error and check. So here we have installed the article linter using the Ubuntu command line and we have demonstrated its usage. So we are done here with today's episode. Thank you very much for watching up to this point and don't forget to like, share and subscribe in case you have some dislikes. Put that as in comments in the comment section down below. And bye for today.